Can I wear someone else's hearing aids? That's our topic today on Ask the Hearing Doctors. Hi, I'm Jim Cuddy, and this is Ask the Hearing Doctors, and I'm joined today by Dr. Ashley Wilcox, Dr. Adriana Martino, Doctors of Audiology with Hearing Doctors, the Washington, D.C. area's highest-rated audiology practice with over 1,500 five-star reviews. Adriana, Ashley, great to see you both. Thank you. Thank you. So the question today is, can I wear someone else's hearing aids? Can you? It depends. There's two different styles. There's a custom style hearing aid and then there's a receiver style hearing aid or a behind the ear hearing aid, which sits behind your ear. Um, For custom style hearing aids, unfortunately, no, you cannot. Um, There's different reasons around why that is. And for a custom hearing aid, it's molded to that specific person's ear that was dispensed that hearing aid. So what that means is that if you try to put a custom hearing aid into your ear when it wasn't made for your ear, it typically will, it will not fit right. And so if it doesn't fit right, then you're not getting the proper amplification, which means that we are, would not be aiding you appropriately. Mm -hmm. In addition, you also would get something that you would probably, that has been called feedback which means that when something pushes up against your ear canal that's providing gain, your ear will be squealing. So it's just not a good fit. So customs is just out of the question. Because of the shape, everyone's ear canal is a different shape? Yeah, we have bends in our ear canal and everybody sitting here all has a different shape. So even though it might look like, oh, I can use that hearing aid, it's just, um, it's not a good idea. So what about the behind the ear? Is that a possibility? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it depends. There's a couple different factors. Behind the ear, usually more um, customized or we're able to make some adjustments. So behind the ear, it depends. It might be a, a tube style with an ear mold. If we're going that route, you would have to get your own ear mold, going back to the custom, you know, if that behind the ear style had an ear mold already from the previous owner, we would not be able to use that, but we could retake your own ear mold if it's appropriate for your hearing loss. If it's a receiver in the ear style hearing aid, that we can do some more customizing depending on your hearing loss. We can typically change the length of the wires and the little rubber domes, but there are still some factors that come into play even with that. So Yeah, and some of those factors can be like the power of the chip in the hearing aid itself. Yeah. So uh, once we would, we would have to verify your hearing, so mm-hmm. we'd have to assess um, your hearing and then um, we'd have to verify it. But if that hearing aid that you brought in is would not provide you with enough power and enough appropriate gain or fit for you, then that would be something that um, unfortunately we just couldn't do. So it's kind of when you have to just go see your audiologist and discuss what the best options are for you. You know, we often talk about lifestyles and, and the improving your lifestyle with hearing aids and that kind of thing. So lifestyle considerations, I would think, would have to be something to determine whether somebody can, can reprogram or reuse an old uh, hearing aid. Yeah, so we can usually, we can tell what the um, technology level of a hearing aid is when you bring it in. And the reason why lifestyle and technology levels come into play is because depending on your lifestyle and what your daily environment looks like, if you're conversing with a lot of people, group settings, you're in a lot of background noise, you're running meetings, stuff like that, you live a very active lifestyle. So you want a higher level technology to be able to work with you. It will have better noise reduction, better sound quality and clarity. Um, If your lifestyle is a little bit more quiet, you're just at home most of the time, just watching TV, you could probably get away with a lower level technology. It's still going to meet your needs. It just doesn't necessarily have all the bells and whistles. So when you bring in the hearing aid, we'll look at what technology level it even is and we'll figure out what are your needs, what's your lifestyle, is this appropriate for you? You know, there's a lot of things to consider. Do you want to stream phone calls with Bluetooth? 
newer technology hearing aids have that, while older ones don't usually have that. So there's a lot of things that come into play, and we'll be able to better figure figure that out for yeah. you. Yeah, bottom line is really that um, it's best if you bring it into us so mm -hmm. we can just fully give it a good evaluation and we can give you our best recommendation. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you both for your time today. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. If you're in the Washington metropolitan area and you'd like to schedule an appointment with hearing doctors, click the link in the description or visit hearingdoctors.com.